Hello, my lovely New Year 12s. This is quite an exciting time for you, whether you've decided to do A-level sciences, A-level maths, A-level psychology, so you're gonna be on the journey with me again, or whether you haven't, this is a really, really exciting time for you. And whether if you've decided not to do A-level sciences and maths, and don't worry, I've still got loads and loads of stuff for you, but if you have decided to stay with me for the journey, then I'm really, really glad that you're here. You know, we got through GCSEs together, I know how hard you're working, I'm really, really proud of all of your results. Um, and now we're here for A-Level, and I can tell you, we're gonna smash it, because uh, I have so much stuff for you. Um, basically, all the stuff I have for GCSE for you, we are very, very nearly there, and more for A-Level, so all the whole time videos, all the predicted papers, which we don't need to worry about yet. They're already done for you, and when you get to the end of year 13, we're gonna have them for you as well. If there is anything you think is missing, if there is anything you think, oh, I really wish there was this, just drop me a note in the comments down below and either I'll find it for you or I'll make it for you or I'll explain like an alternative for you because that is what I am here for you. I am here to help you to get you through these A-levels. So I'm not gonna to say too much in this video because I don't wanna overload you with information, but A-levels are very, very different to GCSE. So if you go into your A-level lesson, and it's a little bit of a shock, that is completely normal. Do not stress about it, do not worry about it. Do not think that you're different to other people. You're not. The, the, the shock that comes when you walk into those lessons at the end of that first week is different because A-levels are a big step from GCSE. Um, at GCSE, you've probably been in a very big class and you know, not everyone necessarily wanted to be there. At A level, in theory at least, everybody wants to be in that classroom, so they should be a little bit more invested, you know, a bit more focused, they should be paying attention and doing the work a bit more. So what you'll find is that the atmosphere in the A level classroom is very different, and your teachers will treat you differently as well. They will treat you more like grown-ups, because that is what we expect from you at A level. Now, Every single time I get in the year 12 class, we just do a little recap quiz of um, GCSE. And everyone's forgotten it. That's fine. We expect you all to have forgotten it. But the GCSE is the foundation for the A-levels. So if you're unsure about a few things, then the impetus is now on you to go and look it up. Because we do expect you to know how to balance equations, for example, what I would in chemistry. But there is already so, always someone who managed to get through to year 12 without being able to do that skill. So um, lots and lots of you may find that the person sitting next to you has come from a different school and can actually do this really, really well because they've got taught by a different teacher, they might have done a different exam board, and they might have done separate science or combined science, or they might have done a different book um, for language or literature. It is very, very normal for things to feel very, very different. This is fine. It is okay. You will get over it. Now, things happen a lot faster at A level. Um, there's going to be a lot more content in there. There's going to be a lot more homework in there. Um, you are going to get things like independent study time. Please use this independent study time wisely. I know the temptation would be to go and sit in there that a common room and just drink tea and biscuits because you can. And yeah, sure, for the first week, go and do that until the novelty wears off and you realise you've actually got loads and loads of homework. Use this study time as your independent study time. As a very rough rule of thumb, I would expect my A-level students to be doing an hour of independent study for every hour that they saw me. So if they saw me for a 45-minute lesson, 45 minutes of independent study. If they saw me for a two-hour lesson, two hours of independent study. So another hour per lesson is basically an hour per hour. And this independent study is gonna change as we're going through. So when we're in year 12, at the beginning of year 12, I would expect it to be things like writing up notes, um, adding in examples so that you can use them later. Sorting out your folders, recapping GCSE content that you've forgotten. When we get to year 13, I'll talk to you more about this in year 13, but there's gonna be a lot more revision in there, there's gonna be a lot more exam skills in there. For the moment, your independent study should just be keeping on top of things. You're probably gonna have folders. So a folder that you have like at home, folder you have at school. What I recommend is that you have home folders for each subject 
and a like a school folder that you carry around with you and then as part of your independent study you take your notes from that lesson write them up in neat and then add them to your home folder and then your home folder will become kind of like a perfect revision guide for that do expect there to be folder checks for teachers because they are going to be checking that you are writing up the notes that you are doing the homework because they might not mark every single bit of homework that um they give you they might expect you to do it yourself so there's a lot more independence uh, independence here going along with the independent study um what i would really like you to do is keep on top of things so one of the things that I'm going to be releasing next weekend, you might be able to find it already, is I'm going to be releasing courses for A-level, we're doing biology, chemistry, maths, psychology and sociology for A-level um, and you can get free access to all of these courses which means you can watch the, the, the teaching video, we will teach you through and then do the recall questions afterwards and you can use this to keep track of your revision as you're going over stuff um, or if you've missed any lessons you can use that to catch up the lessons. Um, but I'm going to hear you every single step of the way, guys, so please don't stress about anything. Drop me a comment down below if there's anything that you need. Ouch! This is why in some videos I explain scratches.